the GDI is one of our favorite cars to drive. Its handling and powertrain are so sophisticated, refined, and engaging that we hardly notice the relative lack of urgency in the quarter mile. Went happily pilot one every day. The GDI gained 10 horsepower for a total of 220 this year. SE and Autobahn models now come standard with a limited slip front differential and stronger brakes borrowed from the Golf R, with the top shelf Autobahn also adding adaptive dampers. These upgrades minus the adaptive dampers were all standard in the Sport model we tested in 2017, so we didn't expect to see much of a difference in our numbers. The greatest difference between the two is that the all-season tires that our 2018 test car wore limited its skid pad and braking performance compared with the summer rubber shod sport version. Regardless of the test numbers, the GDI maintains one of the best performance to dollar ratios in the business. The 2.0 liter turbo that graces the GTI's engine bay is one of the greats. It doesn't offer overwhelming power but delivers instant response and solid acceleration practically anywhere in the rev range. The clutch pedal in manual models is light, which means that shifting is never a chore. The optional dual clutch automatic is one of our favorite non-manual transmissions. Its lightning quick gear changes and telepathic shift programming make it a perfect mate to the GTI storied power.